Alrighty, we are doing my quote and blog for March 27th, 2022. Blame is a thicket from which one tries to view the world. Blame is a wilderness of beliefs reactively unfurled. Blame contorts the truth to being about someone else. Blame does not want to look deep within the self. Blame is a tangle of thoughts that seek to find a path. Blame is a direction for anger's wrath. How is it that two people can see the same thing and come to completely different positions that swing? From the games of blame to finding the villain hidden from view and those seeking to understand from too few clues. Blame Blame's goal is to punish and judge. Blame intends to hold a grudge. We want a clear line between light and dark, but blame intends to light a spark, one that will burn and eventually blow, one that de declares that we truly know. But do we really know who to blame? Or is it just our, our righteousness that wants to proclaim. Ego can be hiding behind the need to be right. Ego can always be seen because it wants a fight. The deeper despair is that we don't really know. And that makes us fear that we are lost in the snow. The snow that distracts us with confusion and pain. And that is how evil will lay its claim on souls that intend to act on the blame they feel, but that will only give an innocent a very raw deal. And my blog for today. As you can tell, the word for today is blame, and that would be my focus for today. In the dictionary, it means a reproach for some lapse or misdeed, an accusation that someone is responsible for some lapse of misdeed, an attribute of responsibility to, to put or pin the blame on someone or something, to harass with constant criticism, the use of expletives to informally to intensify a situation. I look out at a world filled with fingers pointing in lots of directions. I have learned that if I am in reaction, then it is usually about me. I have learned that blaming others is the long path to enlightenment because self-awareness is never about placing blame outside oneself. I have learned that when we can objectively look at how we contribute to a situation or problem, we observe that either through body language, words, tone, emotional resistance, beliefs, or rigidity, we are having an impact on others. And that in turn escalates those that feel as if they are being made bad and wrong or the scapegoat in a situation. Or we can feel as if we are responsible for the upset by our choices, actions, or inactions. I learned a long time ago that I cannot control anyone or any particular thing. That souls have their own process in this life and it matters not if I want them to go a particular direction, they will always go in the direction that will give them their lessons that they signed up for. One way or another, we are always contributing to how something is unfolding, whether we are conscious of it or not. But on the highest level of awakened consciousness, when we recognize that there is no one to blame, that is when we have stepped beyond the games of blame and into becoming fully present in a way that refuses to collapse in the face of criticism or projection. Instead, we just move from a place of peace and acceptance to the patterns of the human condition as each of us learns to move beyond blame and into acceptance. Some people think that when you impose a boundary that you are trying to get rid of them. But the truth is that you are trying to find a comfortable way to keep them in your energy field, just in non-disruptive ways that are more healthy. Thanks everyone.